Hi everyone, me again from Deals Gap, North Carolina. And as you can see, I'm getting ready to get on the tail of the dragon. There is a lot of construction here. This is May 2nd, uh, 2024, and it's 11 o'clock. Thank you, sir, appreciate your work. And they're doing some work on the dragon here, so things, of course, are gonna be pretty slow. But the, work, the, the sign said for the next 12 miles, and of course the dragon is 11 miles, so I think it's pretty much gonna cover the dragon pretty good. But uh, we'll ride around here and see what we've got. We're, but we have a follow car, so you know we'll we'll follow the truck, and see what he's up to. He's gonna go real slow. But I uh, thought you'd get a, get a chance to look at the construction. Uh, this may be a long video because uh, moving at uh, two miles an hour. We'll just have to see. Oh, okay, doing some paving work. Looks like there's a roller. Smooth out the asphalt once they let once they put it down. Don't know whether they're patching or resurfacing. I guess we'll find out. Right, here's my here's a good bit of the equipment. You definitely don't want to hit that on your bike. Oh yeah, they're pouring some asphalt. All right, it's going to be a new surface. New surface on the dragon, folks. Give this uh, give this a couple of weeks. I don't know how long it's going to take them to get finished. Looks like this is just the first stop, and it may be the only stop. I don't know. I see some people down the hill off to my left down here waiting in line, so this may just be the only little place to go. How you doing, Betty Rowe? Oh, man, that's going to be a nice surface. You fast movers are really going to love it up here. Here I am. You can't see any of it because I'm up so close behind this car. But, uh, yeah, it's boy, I can feel the heat coming off of it. That is freshly laid asphalt. You don't think that stuff is hot you ought to work it in the summer i i feel for these guys when it gets up in the 80s and 90s it'll be a thousand degrees right here over this hot asphalt there it is regular old paver company my dad used to work for did a lot of paving i've seen a lot of it done hey guys there you go now they've spread tar over here on the right side, so I'm not going to get on that. <clears throat> but uh, that's so the asphalt will stick to the old asphalt. Oh yeah, this is going to be nice. They get this finished. All right, here we are at the. This is the uh, other end of that little roadblock where I first got on here, and off to the right is the tar truck. He's the guy who spread all that tar out there. He's got it pretty good. And we'll get by the next popo here and some flagman. We'll see how it goes. Don't know how long we're going to wait. Hey guys. Yeah, it looks like they've been doing some uh, patching over here on the left side here. Uh, they get this all paved and painted up. This thing is going to be. This thing's going to be fast. There's nothing. There's not nothing I can tell wrong with the pavement right now. But you know, over a while, especially in a climate like this one, where you get a lot of a lot of temperature extremes, uh, I can see how over time it'll, it'll crack up a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Moving faster than I thought I would. So be warned if you plan on coming up here. I would say, based on uh, how long this road is and how much paving they've got to do, you better give them a week at least. Maybe, maybe next, uh, this is Thursday, maybe next Thursday. Uh, you know, what's that, too? What's that? That's not on the 9th, maybe the 9th or 10th. Maybe worth checking to see if you're planning on coming up here to, to do a run on the Dragon, because they're going to be doing this for a while, looks like. They haven't even come down here. Oh, well, they do. Yeah, they got some there. And I don't know how much of the Dragon they're actually going to do. Maybe they're only going to do parts of it. That'll make for an interesting transition. We'll see how it goes. But 